With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in this question they have asked us about to predict the product of the following adole condensation reaction. Okay, so for the adole condensation reaction you should know that we have two conditions. First one is we should have aldehyde or ketone present. Okay, so this is the reaction of aldehydes and ketones and second we should always have minimum of one alpha hydrogen. What is alpha hydrogen? Uh, we will talk about this in the given example okay so the first one example if we take we have ch3 ch2 i'm going to write it like ch over here okay and here c double bond o and this h i have just opened up this group this is the same okay so we have oh negative and what this OH negative will do, it will, it needs the hydrogen to uh, get neutralized, okay. So, the neutralized hydrogen, it will take from the alpha carbon. So, what is the alpha carbon? Alpha carbon is the next one carbon from the uh, function group. This is the function group and this carbon is the next one carbon. So, this is the alpha carbon and this is our alpha hydrogen, okay. So, this will attack on this and it gets separated as water molecule. Okay, so it will be CH3, CH negative, okay, 1H is left and then COOH. So now you can see that uh, this negative uh, negative charge can come in the conjugation of, uh, can come in the conjugation with this double bond O. Okay, so this can be written as CH3, C double bond C, O negative and H. Okay. So, uh, next thing we have that uh, in this whole reaction, we have more molecules of this substrate. Okay. So, this reacts with the substrate again, CH3, CH2 and C double bond OH. So, this, uh, this attacks over here. We have here delta positive and delta negative charge. Okay. You know, due to the electronegativity. So, this charge comes back over here and we have the form, uh, we have the formation of CH3, CH3, CH2, um, CH3, CH2, then we have COH and we have over here OH, uh, we have here oh, H, uh, we have here O negative and H comes from the uh, solution, okay. And here we have CH and again C double bond O and H, okay. And here we have hydrogen. And here we have methyl group. So now we are given with the heat. What will uh, what will happen in the heat? This water molecule will be get eliminated again. Okay. So what will be the product? This will be the product. This is, will be the final product. This RH CH3 COOH. Okay. So this is our product of the first reaction now in the second reaction we have uh, this reaction is exactly same we are just given the different substrate to react with okay so this is our substrate so what happened this o needs the alpha hydrogen okay alpha hydrogen is this is the functional group and we can see this is the hydrogen we can write it like this this is the alpha hydrogen. So this attacks over here and it forms pH C double bond O CH2 negative. Okay. So this negative comes here O near here and then again resonating structure like pH. This is P H C O negative double bond CH2. Okay. So now uh, we have again more molecules of this R substrate. This will be pH C double bond O and CH3 and this double bond will react over here and this negative will come back okay so it what will it form it will form pH C OH O was negative over here OH positive it gets from the solution okay CH3 and here CH2 and then we have C double bond O and then we have pH. Okay. So here we, uh, again we have here H 
we can write it like this h and in on heating we can uh, we have the elimination reaction of this water group okay elimination is been done so here we have our final product as ph double bond ch this c double bond h and this okay so these were the final product guys i hope you understand the question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today